everybody, it's Renee from Tailspin Farm, and I am hopping on today with a video about older rabbits and um, just a few tips and tricks and hints on them. Um, for those of you who are new here, I am a spinner, knitter, crocheter, and dyer, um, and I've been raising Angora rabbits since 2005, so that puts me at 18 years now. Um, and yes, I've had them consistently since 2005, so I have had a lot of rabbits come through. And um, yeah, I thought today I would um, discuss older rabbits and kind of what I, this isn't going to be a real long video, but um, just to kind of show you um, how or, you know, what place Angora rabbits play here at the farm. Um, right now, I, last year I got pretty low. Um, last year was the year we moved here and I had, we had lived in a lake house previously and um, I didn't have a lot of space for my rabbits. So I kept, I kept some rabbits. Um, last spring, I believe I was down to just seven Angora rabbits. I had um, uh, one German and a few French and a few English. So I was down pretty low. That was the lowest I had been in many, many years. And um, then last summer I purchased um, five new rabbits, six new rabbits, and added those to my um, my herd of rabbits. And then I had four, uh, I bred some of those rabbits last summer and had a, a batch of four rabbits um, this fall. So I am slowly growing my rabbit tree again. And I do right now have four older rabbits um, that are actually really old. Um, I have two French, two English, and let's see, nope, one French and three English that are um, between six and nine years old. Um, and I wanted to, I brought, I have one in my lap. If you haven't figured out, that's what I'm <laughs> doing with my fingers, is pulling all the fuzzies out as I sit here and pet her. Um, I thought I'd bring her in. Um, I have one out there who is, I think he turned seven this fall. Um, and he's, he's seen better days. And so he is essentially just living out his best life here, um, the end of his life here. He, I, he doesn't give me fiber anymore. Um, I, I groom him just to clean off mats and things like that. But otherwise, I am not getting fur from him. And that's okay. Um, that's how I want it. I um, typically, I, I would never call out my rabbits. I wouldn't um, put them down for not giving me fiber. So they just live out their lives here is essentially what I'm trying to say. Um, until they pass. And... Um, so he is going to be seven, and I think, um, actually I know I have two of him and his brother are both, they were born at the same time, so um, obviously they're brothers, but they were from the same batch. Um, so they're both going to be seven, and then I have another one out there, um, and I think he is probably eight. Um, now I have Flopsy in my lap. In just a second here, I'll shift down so you can see her. And Flopsy has been one of, um, I have had um, litters from her, I've had babies from her several times. And um, so she has given me lovely bunnies and she is a great wooler. Um, and by that mean, I mean, I am still getting fiber out of her regularly. She has amazing fiber. Um, she is a, um, well, you'll see her color. I think she's a chestnut, a Gaudi, if I remember right. I'll have to look at her pedigree papers. But she was born in March of 2014. So that puts her at nine years old in a couple months here. So um, she is still doing good. She has a bit of an attitude. She always has. Um, and... So she, she is, and actually, if you've noticed, she's just sitting here on my lap. Again, the, part of that is her being older, and part of that is just um, the Angora rabbit breed. I actually had 
a comment the other day on one of my YouTube shorts and um, it was me grooming one of my rabbits and someone asked if the rabbit was dead, which I just have to laugh at some of the comments um, because I just wouldn't ever had an interruption there. So I just wouldn't ever, um, that's just nothing I would do. I don't think anybody would put a dead rabbit on a video. Um, but they asked that was because the rabbit was just sitting there. And um, for those of you who don't know, Angor rabbits are pretty docile animals. Um, now, again, I've had some that are not. Um, but also the more you handle them and you do end up handing, handling Angoras quite often because of the grooming, um, you do have to do that quite often in order to keep them healthy and um, to get the fiber that you want to spin. So... Um, they are very docile just naturally and um, so I'm gonna just pan down here and kind of show you what I'm talking about with her fiber um, she's kind of tucked down in here so again this is Flopsy Flopsy is a English Angora um, and I wish you know what I'm gonna interrupt this video and I don't know so I've got Willow here which you guys know she's never far from me and then I've got Chowder here this is my son and his girlfriend's cat that lives here right now. Um, <laughs> and Chowder's living his best life too. <sighs> he cracks me up. So back to the rabbits. Um, and yeah, Chowder is a quarter Maine Coon, so I could spin him also if I wanted to. But Flopsy is, again, she's gonna be um, nine years old in May. She was born in 2014 and she has been one of my um, one of my great woolers that I've had over the years. Um, as you can see, she is full right now. She's got some beautiful fiber on her. I'm going to sit here and groom her. Um, I wanted to show you. So she has the, uh, oh, she's got some hay. She has um, the English face. Um, one of the things you, I noticed more so with, and she does have a little bit of it here, um, the eye goops kind of, as they get older, they tend to have more of that going on. And so one of the things I'm gonna do this morning is I'm gonna take a warm washcloth. She just has a goober right in here. I'm gonna take a warm washcloth and just kind of clean that out for her. Um, but again, eyes are one of the things that I start to notice that have problems. And the reason her name, I don't know if she's gonna do it. She got her name Flopsy because of this ear here. She would never be able to, sh I wouldn't be able to show her because of this ear. Um, it disqualifies her from winning anything because they're not both most of the time this little ear is over here <laughs> that's just that's her ear and what it looks like so she would not be considered a show rabbit um, but she is very sweet and again she does have attitude sometimes when I just went to get her out of her cage she gave me a little gruff but I wanted to show you um, when I am and most of the time when I groom I'm either plucking or combing um, I do shear, which you see, I think there was a video, and I, I am actually going to film two videos today back to back, and so the next video I do is going to show um, just some of my grooming with the rabbits. I've had some, lots of new um, subscribers lately, and they've asked for videos. I do have some older grooming um, videos on my playlist. If you go back and look, you can find those pretty easy, but I'm going to update it and just do a new one um, because I do have, I have three rabbits out there today that are actually similar to her color that I'm gonna do. And I'll talk about that more because typically I, I groom um, the same colors, try to keep the same colors together, but I'll explain that in the next video. But I just wanted to show you with her being nine years old, um, she was probably groomed, I think she was groomed just a couple weeks ago. And you can see just sitting here while I'm gently I'm getting a lot of fiber off from her and she's nine so just because your rabbits have gotten older um, does not mean that they're not going to give you fiber again I have two out there that um, one is absolutely not giving me any fiber anymore he's 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 seen better days um, and again as long as he's eating and jumping around and, and doing all the things, drinking, I'm going to let him just live out his life. Um, we have had to take matters into our own hands before. 
um, with the rabbits. We, I'm, I'm thankful and grateful that um, over the years and 18 years of raising rabbits, um, most of my rabbits have died naturally. Um, and they have lived long lives. I can count on one hand the rabbits that I have had for short periods of time. Um, I have been fortunate. Um, Flopsy is not the first nine-year-old bunny I've had. Um, and actually, I've had some 10 and 11-year-old bunnies. I don't know. For those who have followed me for a long time, I had, um, Math not Matthias. I'm trying to think of who I had. Ahab. His name was Ahab. He was the one-footed, one-back-footed rabbit. Um, Ahab was, he passed away last summer, last fall, nope, the fall before last. And I think he was 10 or 11. So he was with me for a very, very long time. These rabbits here are the ones that actually lived at our farm before we even moved up to the lake house seven years ago. So, um, and Flopsy actually used to go to farmer's markets with my daughter and I. Um, she was the rabbit that we would take with us. So you can see I am just slowly grooming her another um, comb full of it. So that's basically um, how to care for your older rabbits. Again, make sure their eyes are cleared out. I don't know what that is, if that's just something with age that they start having the, the weepy eyes a little bit more. Um, but yeah, um, they, they tend to sit, um, they're more sedentary, just like uh, humans are. And so make sure that they have a place to sit in their cage that they're comfortable. Um, these guys do get outside. All of my rabbits get outside. I suppose while I'm talking, I can move this up. Um, all of my rabbits do get outside. Although in the weather we're having lately, um, I've got all the lights on in here, but it is just dreary outside. So we've got rain today. It's January 18th in Michigan, and we've had we've had no snow in January. So it's a very odd winter here. Um, winter came in pretty crazy in November, and then it just kind of petered out on us. So, um, so these guys do get outside in nice weather and get to roam, and even my older rabbits I put outside quite often um, just to get on grass and um, to have fresh air and things like that. Um, in my barn where they are kept safe, they are in cages, um, and like in the summer I have fans on and things like that to circulate the air. Um, I have a garage door, a slider door in my barn so I can open that up when the weather is cooperating and um, I do that quite often too. So one last thing, as I'm sitting here, I'm just petting her and <laughs> I'm still, and you can almost with this light see the beautiful sheen that the Angora fiber has. Um, so I am getting just quite a bit of fur just, just sitting here um, petting her along her back with my hand. And that's another way that you can groom besides the combs or the brushes, um, especially with the older rabbits or uh, maybe a rabbit that isn't cooperating with you, this would be a good thing to do. So again, we'll talk about a little bit more about that in the next video that I do with grooming, but I'm going to clean her up, clean up her eye and um, finish grooming her. And then I will be back here with another video. Um, I'm going to try to upload this one today. I think we have grandkids coming for the weekend. I'm going to pick them up from school this afternoon. And so I'm going to get a couple videos done and uploaded so that I can enjoy spending some time with them. So thanks for stopping by. If you would subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, click the like button if you enjoy these videos. It helps me. Um, also, I am active on Instagram and Facebook. More on Instagram but I, I am trying to, um, to continue to build my Facebook page also, but I am more active socially on Instagram. I do stories and reels and things like that over there. Um, and everywhere you can follow me is Tailspin Farm. I am pretty e easy to find. Um, I also have a website, which is www.tailspinfarm.com. I will put all of this in the description box below. Um, if you'd like to receive newsletters from me and um, when products and sales go on the website or when we have new rabbits, please go into my website and there is a email subscribe list that you can click on and subscribe to my email list. So 
if you would do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, thanks for stopping by today. Make sure you're creating something.